All right, up front, this is the very end of the system. It's just a cap. This piece of brake line is gonna have a bunch of holes in it spraying down. I still have to take it out and drill the holes in it, which is why it's held up by zip ties right now. But it wraps around to the back of the intercooler and then along the bottom side, which also isn't mounted yet. And it'll spray up into the intercooler. This will spray down into the intercooler. Got a fitting so I can take just the sprayer on and off if I want. And then the brake line goes to the back of the car. And here's in the transmission tunnel. Just wraps up and sticks into the car right there. And finally here's inside the car. There is a quick disconnect fitting. That way I can cover it up when I'm not using it. And that just goes to a paintball remote. And I still have to mount the tank somewhere. So the footage of the sprayer actually spraying uh, was corrupted or deleted or lost somehow. So I can't show you that. But what I can tell you is I used a 10 ounce CO2 tank in about 10 seconds of spraying. So I decided that this was probably not the most cost efficient way of cooling my intercooler. So I went to a water spray intercooler. The problem with my intercooler sprayer, the CO2 one at least, is that I think I put too many holes in the spray head. So there was you know, too much area for the CO2 to escape, therefore it would drain the tank quicker. It seems like along with the spray footage of the CO2 intercooler sprayer that the footage I originally recorded of the water sprayer was deleted as well. So here it is. This is the reservoir mounted in the trunk on a bracket. It's a uh, window washer reservoir out of like a late 60s early 70s Chevy pickup truck. Uh, the pumps mounted on the side of it so it does run dry for about a second before it sucks up any fluid from the reservoir currently. I'm working on that issue right now. The out of the pump just runs through this hole that was already in the car. I just popped the grommet out and the holes fit in there perfectly. I would have left a grommet but there was no room anymore. So if the line gets, gets cut, I will uh, fix it then and do something different. Not that you're going to be able to see anything here, but that line comes down and it comes up and over the rear end and then follows the brake lines up to the front of the car. And then here in the front of the car, you can see the brake line comes up. This is the spray nozzle off like a Lexus or something fancy. And I only got it because it has the good spray pattern instead of the two jets. I mounted it with the silicone originally, and then I used the zip ties to hold it, but the silicone got all over the zip ties. So I decided, ah, fuck it. I'll just silicone everything. And, you know, the zip ties match the car, so they'll stay until the sprayer goes. I'm just waiting for them to ship. I ordered uh, lawn and garden mister things, and I'll probably have one or two, maybe three mounted across here. It depends if that pump can pressurize enough fluid for those three pumps. And then a spring check valve, like some cars have, to keep the water from dripping out. That way the fluid will always stay in the lines, the pump will never run dry, and every time when I'm done using it, it won't just drip and make a mess and empty my tank. So inside the car here, I haven't wired anything permanently. I just have what is actually a speaker wire that I use for power and ground into this 12 volt power source. Just hacked it up, soldered the wires on. That way I can just have a temporary use that when the key's on and you push it in, the sprayer will spray. You pull it out, the sprayer stops. Uh, I just wanted to test it at an autocross event with bring my laptop with me and see if the intake temps are dropping enough that I'm actually going to keep this set up and then I'll hardwire a toggle switch or a push button or something that will look a lot better and work a lot better.
All right, guys, that is it for now. Uh, when I get my new sprayers in, I will most likely put up a short video just showing the spray patterns and hopefully the fact that they do not drip like this one. Just It will constantly drip until the whole line is dry. It's annoying, but I'm trying to fix it. Till then, see ya.